for our third example, we are now given the graph of the circle and we're asked to get the standard equation using this graph. So let us first analyze the graph. So in this graph, we are given points A, B, and C. But then we could see a circle. Therefore, this C is equal to its center. And the center is given as 3 and 1. Therefore, the center is not anymore located at the origin. And the formula that we will be using is equal to x minus h quantity squared plus y minus k quantity squared is equal to r squared. But then, do we have the value of the radius? Okay, so look at the graph again. We can see here that we are given point P. This is point P. And then, we are given the line segment PC. And the line segment PC is equal to 5. From point P up to C, this is the line segment PC and states here that that is equal to 5 units. Therefore, radius now is equal to 5 units. Okay, so we now have complete values. So we're now, we will now be substituting the values of H, K, and R into the equation. We will be having X minus what is the value of H? That is 3. X minus 3 quantity squared plus y minus k, or k is equal to 1, that is y minus k quantity squared is equal to the value of r, which is 5, that is 5 squared. Therefore, simplifying, we'll be having x minus 3 quantity squared plus y minus 1 quantity squared is equal to 25. And this is now the standard equation of the circle with the center located at 3, 1, and the radius, which is equal to 5. For example number 4, again, we are given a graph, and we're asked to determine the standard equation of the circle with this condition, and that condition is that the circle in figure 1.9. This is uh, circle A, so this should be circle A in figure 1.9. So in circle A, all we have to do first is to identify the center. So we're now given here the center. This is the center of circle A in figure 1.9. And what is the coordinate of the circle A in figure 1.9? So that is HK. HK is the X, H is the X coordinate, therefore that is negative 2. NK is the Y coordinate of the circle, therefore what is the Y coordinate of the circle? That is negative 1. Therefore, we now have the center. So next thing that we need to get is the value of the radius. And what is the value of the radius? If we are given this kind of graph, all we have to do is to count. So, and that is the number of units from the center going to the circumference of the circle. So this is one, this is two, this is three, this is four. Therefore, our radius is equal to 4 units. Okay, since the center is not anymore located at the origin, the standard equation now is equal to x minus h quantity squared plus y minus k quantity squared is equal to r squared. We now have the values of the center, that the center is located at negative 2 and negative 1, therefore this is h and this is r k. And that the radius is given as 4 units. Okay, let's now substitute the value of the center and the radius in the equation. We'll be having x minus negative 2 quantity squared plus y minus k, which is negative 1 quantity squared, is equal to r squared, which is 4 squared. Again, Negative, negative, it becomes positive. Therefore, that is x plus 2 quantity squared plus negative, negative, it becomes positive. That is y plus 1 quantity squared is equal to what is 4 squared. 4 times 4 is 16. Therefore, the standard equation of the center of the circle having center at negative 2 and negative 1 with radius equal, equal to 4 is x plus 2 quantity squared plus y plus 1 quantity squared is equal to 16. And that is the final answer.